Thanks for listening. I'll be back same time. Four o'clock. We're up. Howdy, everybody. This is Buddy Hennings on Prescription for Love, coming to you live from KZHC here in Sacramento and right here in the studio with us today. We have Dwayne and Stace. Welcome to you both. Hi. Uh, hi. <clears throat> We're happy to be here. Long-time listeners, first-time guests. Well, why don't you begin by telling us a little bit about why you're here? We're having some communication issues. What does that mean exactly? Oh, you know, we're having trouble, like, uh, talking to each other. Dwayne, how about you not pee on my head and call it rain? Excuse me? If you want to get better, you're going to have to get real for me. So why don't you begin by telling me something I don't know? We have kind of a rocky history. We've been on and off for about five years, mostly off. Yeah, we met on the job. There was no fraternization policy, but we, um, fraternized. A lot. Well, now we're getting somewhere. How's the sex? Um, <clears throat> well, it's been a while, but w when we have it, it's, it's good. Yes. Yes. We should not be listening Why to this, really. Oh, come on, Liz. We've got to be such a prude. You're young. You're vibrant. We're too soon in the game to be calling a timeout. There's just a lot of baggage left over from all the off periods. Why did you break up? Well, I, th I think we broke up the first time because you decided that the job was more important, right? Wasn't that it? Yeah, well, then you got Sarah pregnant. Yeah, after you got engaged to a maniac. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't use exaggeration here. It's no help to us at all. Maniac, no. Maybe you didn't approve. That's fair game. Let's get back to the baby. Is that true, Dwayne? No. It, yes, I had a baby with someone else, but we were off. Totally off. What about the engagement? It didn't work out. Yeah, because he's a homicidal maniac. Fine. Relationships can be brutal. And for the record, I'm not angry about the baby. Oh, really? Because I never thought you were angry, but you sound kind of angry now. No, I just thought it was weird that you would have a baby with someone you barely knew. Well, why don't you tell me what you really think? But, but what? What else is there? But I love that you're a dad. You do? When we got together, we were kids. I was a young, naive girl. I wasn't ready to commit to you. It wasn't about the job. At least that wasn't all of it. But things have changed since then. We're not the same. And that's okay. I like who I am now. I like who you are. You're a man. You guys are fantastic. So real. Before we go, is there anything you two would like to say to each other? No. Yes. Just... I'm sorry. For a lot of things. I care about you and I never meant to hurt you. All right, your turn. Anything? You know how I feel about you. It's the same way I've always felt. It's never changed since the first day I met you. Well, then my work is done here. Thank you for listening to Prescription for Love. This is Buddy Headings on KZHC Talk Radio. Bravo. That was a fantastic show. Thanks. That was really helpful. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Thanks, Doc. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hello? Great job, Rigsby. <laughs>